Um, I was born in Jinja, which is the source of the River Nile. Um, and I'm uh, one of six siblings. Um, my mother is mixed race. She's half Ugandan and half Pakistani. And my father's Pakistani. So it was really interesting for us because we spent quite a lot of our time with other mixed race families and not just Pakistani, Ugandan, but like Arab, Ugandan and um, from the coast of um, East Africa, from Mombasa, there were a lot of mixed race families who lived around there as well. Uh, <clears throat> my dad uh, was a butcher, so he, ra he ran a butcher shop selling meat and um, my mum Oh, my mum did so many things. She's a seamstress. She would make samosas to sell in the market. And she also then uh, ran a school canteen. And she also, another thing she did was to open a small shop where they just sold sweets and things like that. And the reason why she took on that role is because my dad was a lot older than my mum. And so he, as he got older, he couldn't work. So the butcher shop had to close. So um, my very early childhood memories are of a butcher shop. But then the later memories are mostly of my mum doing all the work. M my mum got married off to um, my dad. And my dad was my granddad's best friend. So he was a lot older. And my mum was... 11 years old and my dad was um, in his 40s and my grandfather felt it was he was very worried because he wasn't well and if he was if he died he didn't want my mother to be married to an African and in order to make sure that didn't happen he wed this very young child to his best friend and so my father really molded my mother in relation to the African aspects of her and it was like not good, you don't own it, you deny it. There's a word that gets used to describe people who are mixed race which is called Chatara. So it's quite a rude meaning. But um so we spent quite a lot of our time with mixed race families. We did spend some time with Pakistani families as well. But there's always this perception of being looked down on. So I can remember when I first started school, none of the Asian kids would sit next to me in the classroom because we're mixed race. Um, so it was quite interesting from that perspective that, you know, um, even though we looked very Asian, because my uh, we had an African grandmother, that we were looked down upon, and that happened to all the mixed race community. That's how the Asians treated the mixed race. Basically, there was a lot of time spent by our parents ensuring that we did not know anything about our African heritage because it was seen as being something quite negative and they didn't want us to take on any Africanness, which, you know, they're lazy, they don't work, they're not worthy and all of that. And that was, that was really invested in my mum as well. But then on the other hand, um, because of where we were living, there was no getting away from it. So, you know, we, we were all fluent in Swahili, which is, you know, a language spoken out there. We knew all the African songs. We went all, all to the, the mixed race weddings and the dancing and all of that. All of that still came through. And then after leaving Uganda, actually, we had, I just feel as a family, we had a real um, opportunity to explore our African heritage and we own that far more now than we did when we were growing up.